What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you. The fight has been announced. Uh, Alexander Usyk and Tony Bellew will get it on in England. You know, this looks like a pretty good fight. I think it's Tony Bellew's last opportunity to show that he, um, that the David Hay fights wasn't a fluke. You know, um, and I thought both times that David Hay was going to get him, you know what I mean? You know, the, the Creed star, you know, did pull off an upset. And I know he lost a lot of people, a lot of money by stopping, um, Mr. Haymaker, you know, David Hay. And, uh, you know, it's one, it's one thing to go against someone like David Hay that has been in his own wars, that has retired once and came back. You know what I mean? It is surprising. It, it is impressive, you know, but now he's going up against a, a Ukrainian, Alexander Usyk, which, you know, despite his, com you know, uh, comedic side, you know, because he is a clown, so to speak. He, he likes to have fun in there. The dude is an absolute beast. You know, he trains hard, he plays hard, and he has a lot of things in his arsenal. You know, after winning the cruiserweight eliminator bout, he's the unified Tony Bayou. You know, I take my hat off to him for going up against Usyk because that would be the fight to make. He could have done anything else, but he wanted to fight Usyk. And Usyk really didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> That's why, you know, granted, after the fight, if he gets past Bayou. He's going to heavyweight and possibly taking on AJ. Who knows? I mean, you know, I don't know if AJ will fight him, though. But Usyk is a beast. He's a monster. You know, um, if you guys can think about him, he's pound for pound. He's on the pound for pound list. He's up there with one of his good friends uh, and his countryman, uh, Vasily Loma. Chanko. Loma Chanko is probably, what, the one or two? I would I would give him two beside behind Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford is one, you know. Uh, but they train together. They you know they do a lot of things together. And, and let me tell you something about Ukrainians. They're not really built to lose, you know. They're built to challenge themselves. Look at look at Loma. Loma wanted to challenge himself anywhere from one twenty six, one thirty, one thirty five. You know, and he's calling out anyone that would fight him, you know, and those guys are friends, you know, birds of a feather flock together, right? So that's exactly what he, Usyk is. He wants to go to the heavyweight division to challenge himself, just like Loma's doing down in a lower weight class, you know, and then the idea, it's, 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 it's daring to be great. It's wanting that challenge. If you lose, okay, you lose. At least you tried, you challenged you challenge yourself as well as another opponent by challenging yourself. But if you win, you can achieve more and more things, you know. Um, that type of fight between him and Tony Bayou, um, a lot of people will ride with Bayou. Um, the, the only problem is if Bayou beats Usyk, okay, he's just going to retire. You know, and it would it would be an it would be a great exit fight. You know, that would that's like on some Andre Ward type fight. You know what I mean? I would love Andre to go up there because Andre did mention uh, going up to heavyweight or going. You know, he he wanted to stop at heavyweight. I don't know what happened. I, I guess he decided. Well, hey, you know, realistic. I think he thought about it. it was a little too small. I don't think he hits hard enough to be up there. You know, of course he has all the skill and the speed, but. We don't know what type of heavyweight he he would acclimate to, you know what I mean. So, you know, if if you're not like if you're not a Chris Bird, um, and you're not surprising guys with just blinding speed, you're not gonna do really well at heavyweight, you know. So, I don't know, but I would love to see, you know, Usyk in Ward. That's just my personal choice, you know what I mean. Um, but. Tony Bayou, he does have that left hook. You know, that's his bread and butter. But, you know, and the determination and the will. And the thing is, it's like, you have that. The will, the determination, the desire. 
and the left hook. Usyk has all the above. You know what I mean? So I look at this fight. It was funny about the press conference out. You know, I put the source below if you guys haven't seen it. You know, the face off, the official announcement of this fight. And it was humorous with uh, Usyk. You know, he's he's doing the face off, you know, and he's just, you know, being himself. You know what I mean? You can only be yourself at the end of the day. So, but when he gets in that ring, that's a totally different story. And I'm really looking forward to this fight. And it looks like UK, man, um, we need more fights over here, I think, because that's becoming the mecca. You know what I mean? I know the energy in England. I'm going to get over there soon. You know, um, and I got some shirts, you know, ordered, you know, for guys, for people that wants to order them and, you know, rock with the Counterpunch Boxing News logo. So I just ordered them today. Um, but, yeah, I do want to get to England and see these fights, you know. Because these fights are big. These fights are huge. You know, it depends on my scheduling and, you know, work and all that good stuff. But I would love to get over there and feel the energy of the crowd and see what, you know, you know what I mean? Because I see it in, a, in like every punch. It's like in it's like in Bangkok, Cock, Thailand or something where you got a, you know, a cock fight or something. Because you have that same enthusiasm, that same energy that's flowing through these guys. And they're amped and they're pumped and they're excited you know, and it, it's cool, man. I, I got to get over there, and it's going to happen in England. So if we have another fight like that, it puts me in the remi- in, in the mind of, of course, AJ and uh, Klitschko, um, Golovkin and Brook. That was a good fight because every uppercut, every punch that Brook threw, you know, the countrymen were behind him. And then, you know, that's some camaraderie and that's some love right there. So, you know, I wouldn't expect anything else from this fight. You know, Usyk's coming from the Ukraine, undefeated, unified champion, you know, and it's basically winner takes on. He has it all at cruiserweight. So if Bayou can can pull this off, he would be remembered. He would just go down. There would be nothing else he could do. He's not going to heavyweight because he'll never fight AJ anyway. They're too good. You know, AJ said, I'll never fight him. And Bayou said, hey, I'll never fight AJ. So that it's nowhere really to go. And then, of course, we all I already, um, if you haven't seen that interview with Tony Bayou, they, they, you've had words with Deontay Wilder, but he said, honestly, man, I don't want any, any part of Wilder because yeah, I can maybe get away with four or five rounds and, you know, but soon he's going to catch me. And when he really, when he does, he might render me unconscious, you know, and that's the realest thing you can say about any fighter. That's honest, a hundred percent honest. You know, throw the throw the ego out of the window because, you know, the truth will always set you free. You know what I mean? And the truth is in that ring if you get in there like he would. So, um, yeah, Bayou is nowhere for him to go but out after that. You know, big ups to him if he does win against Usyk, but I don't see him... I don't see him doing it off the top of my head. I, I have to challenge both. I have to look at and examine both fighters, you know. And um, but what I've seen just right off the bat, I think Usyk takes Bayou. But I will have an official fight study for you guys. Um, but this is the official announcement. It has been released. I'll uh, I'll place the official uh, press conference down below for the source so you guys can check that out but anyway you guys tell me what you think about this announcement between alexander Usyk and tony bellew uh please subscribe leave your comments below and you guys been counterpunched peace